guess what? In Power Apps, we no longer have to write the same formula over and over and over again. We can now create proper, repeatable functions using user-defined functions in Power Apps. The feature just went into preview and they say it's going GA very soon. So let's check out how this works. What you're gonna do in your app once you've turned it on is you're gonna go here to App and you're gonna go to Formulas and up here we're gonna write a function. So I'm gonna call it something like NF Math, like so, parenthesis. Now we need to tell it about the inputs. So we're just gonna do num1 and do a colon and then give it the data type. And so in this case, we want a number. So we're gonna take a number, we do a comma, we can do nm2 and then number again, like so. Close our parentheses. Now what you need to do is you need to do a colon and you say what type of data will your function return? Well, my math function is gonna return a number. So we're gonna choose number. And then now you do an equal and you tell it how to return that number. And so in our case, we might just say take num1 times num2 times three, right? It doesn't matter. We're gonna close this with a semicolon. The key here on the right side of the equal sign is it just needs to return the data type. So this could be a function using the inputs. It could be a lookup. It could be a patch formula. It could be a variable. It could be controls. It doesn't matter. As long as whatever's over here on the right returns whatever data type it's expecting on the left, you're gonna get what you need. Now, if we go down here to our app and we insert ourselves a label and the label, I can go right here and we can just do NF math and it's like, all right, what's number one? It's 12. What's number two? It's two. And then we close our parentheses and it returns 72, right? 12 times two times three. This is a very simple example to kind of get the ideas going. But the idea here is that when you have those repetitive formulas that you're using throughout your app, you could just write them once and then reference them yourself. If you look down below, there'll be a link to the full length video that will walk you through how to build simple ones. It'll explain the different data types. And at the end, it even does a super complicated function to show you just how far you can take this.